Hello everyone, Sir Mungus Yard Zappy here, back again with Hunter Hunter. We are on episode 6, and in the last episode, uh, we got a closer look at Hisoka and his... I guess his, like, what he's sort of all about. I mean, we didn't really get much. I mean, it's still hard to read the guy because, you know, he's not giving much away. and um, We haven't had any real time to, to get to know him really on that level yet, but... um. But uh, but yeah, we got a, we got a closer look at him regardless, uh, and a lot of people have just been eliminated from this uh, exam. Two hundred and twenty to be exact in this in this uh, in this the, the the latter half of the fucking of the phase one. Um, so I'm guessing that's it for phase one. I think we're on phase two now, right? I think that's it. Uh, it wasn't officially said at the end of last episode, but uh, but. Uh, I guess we'll find out by getting into this uh, into this next one. Um, so yeah, Hisoka's got uh, Leo at the moment. He let he had a fight with uh, Gon and Leo, um, but I guess he was like playing the he was essentially playing the role of examiner after he got you know basically grouped around by by a gang of people who um, were playing the role of examiner like themselves. So he like said, "All right, well, why don't I play it and see if you guys are worthy?" Uh, so put yeah, basically returned it back on them. Um, and then because of that, Leo attacked him. I don't know what. I still don't know why. Uh, and then Gon came back to rescue him. Uh, and Hosoka decided that he likes Leo and Gon, so he let them. He let them uh, live, I guess. Um, and he's carrying Leo away while Gon and Kurapika are kind of following them because Gon's smelling Leo's cologne. So, uh, so yeah, I think that's all we really need to talk about in this pre-discussion. So we're going to get in episode six and see what we get. So without further ado, let's go. Okay, episode six, right. Uh, well, first of all, I want to point out uh, at the very beginning there when um, when they made it to the end of phase one and um, Hisoka left Leo, right, lying up against a tree. And he says he didn't remember what happened. Now, it could easily just be the fact that Hisoka just wellied him in the fucking face, so he's just a bit... <laughs> so he just he can't remember what the fuck just happened. I'm kind of, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I want to lean towards Leo, the reason why he was all hazy was because he was, something happened when he went off into the fog that caused him to come back and fight, in whatever way, um, because I, I don't understand like, it just goes hand in hand with the fact that I don't understand what Leo, what Leo was thinking when he, he thought that it was a good idea to go fight Hisoka for no reason whatsoever, you know? So, I feel like it was that. Um, but anyway, yeah, I just wanted to put, just to talk about that because I thought it was interesting. Uh, so, yeah, so the start of Phase 2, uh, Biska Forest uh, with Menchi and Buhara. So, cooking, yeah. So, interesting, another sort of branch. Um so yeah, it's it's going into in, I like it because it's going into territory that's like that I would have I would have I wouldn't have thought of previously because when I think of like because when I'm thinking of like the hunters and stuff, I'm going by what the what like the the intro says right. So it says like you know like uh, hunting monsters, um, finding treasure, uh, unexplored lands. Um, of course, uh, in the beginning with Kurapika, we got uh, introduced to. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Was it? Because I'm thinking now, with that guy in this episode saying he wanted to be a blacklist hunter, if that and bounty hunter are the same thing. Because I'm sure in episode one, when the captain was talking to Kurapika, he mentioned bounty hunter. But I might be wrong. Um, I'm just wondering what the what what the difference is there. Because if blacklist hunter is something different, but I just it it because it, a black a blacklist to me is like. That, that to me would it'd be very similar to a bounty hunter. I feel like it would be almost the same thing. So I don't know if it's just like they've changed the subtitles around and it, it means the same thing. Similar to like Attack on Titan with the scouts and survey call. Like it just kind of goes hand in hand. It's just the same thing. But um, but I don't know. Um, but yeah, so I, I like the, the, the other branch of bait, like a gourmet hunter. Like somebody who goes out and looks for... Um, I, I guess it kind of goes hand in hand with... I guess it's a mixture, really, of, like, unexplored lands and monsters and stuff, right? And, like, creatures, because the different types of creatures give different kind of food, right? So I like that. That's cool. Um, and Menchi, yeah, I like, I like her. Um, <clears throat> not going to say why. Uh, so, yeah, so Todd said that he thought that the fewer than ten would pass. He was wrong in the end, but he was under the impression, just because of the way Menchi is, she's sort of got this... 
reputation for uh, being quick tempered, I guess, is like because people, I guess, in this world, they don't take the idea of a gourmet hunter very seriously at all. Um, but then in the uh, in the end, they got res like that, you know, they had some they had the respect for it. So I like that. Um, but at the, at the, in the very beginning, like the the initial test, right? We didn't get to see. I'm sure there was some people that didn't even like didn't even give their like their uh their meal to to like see if like to to be assessed because we didn't see hisokas leos or kilowas either i don't know if each each person had to do one or like they were in groups because kurapika could have been with leo and i guess kilowa could have been with gone but you know um but I'm surprised, like, everyone done exactly the same thing. And the only one that did anything even remotely different was, uh, was Kurapika. Um, so, I have, I have no idea. I'm almost tempted to say that Kurapika might be a girl, you know. <laughs> um, this is, I'm not stereotyping because the fact that Josh might be good at cooking, <laughs> you know what I mean? But it wouldn't even be that because clearly, as she said, she only took the how it looks like how it's um how it's prepared and how it looks versus like how it tastes you know so it's it's not thoroughly a stereotype all right i'm not stereotyping women for being good in the kitchen all right <laughs> um but there was nobody else that did anything even remotely different and i'm sitting here thinking like she clearly said the wording was to use pork and prepare a dish not just cook a fucking pig and give it to them. <laughs> it's like, that's no, you know? I mean, even I could have done that, and I'm not even a fucking... I'm, I'm, you know what I mean? I'm a shit fucking cook. I can't, you know... The, the most I can do is fucking follow instructions. That's all I can do. I'm not, I'm, you know, I don't have a mind for cooking, you know? I'm not, like, one that's, like, you know, like... I'm not a great cook, so... But even I would have fucking tried something different. Like, make pork chops out of it or something, you know? Just try something other than just you know, but I, I don't know. Um, so uh, so yeah, I was expecting Leo to be like, because Leo just like has this like, because you would have never thought that he would have been like a good healer or whatever, right? A good like sort of doctor substitute, right? Like he was. So I kind of like have this image of like, because Leo hadn't shown his at the moment that he would come out and be like the one guy that's like a great cook. You know what I mean? Like the like, you know. Unlike the rest of them, and it, it would be like a shock thing of being like, "What, Leo? <laughs> you know what I mean? He's a great cook as well." But yeah, would would obviously didn't get that. Um, so yeah, she passed no one. Um, and I, I I noticed I noticed Hisoka like he was ready to fucking to he was ready to attack <laughs> Menji. He really was. I have a feeling he is still playing examiner in his mind. I wonder if. He always, in his mind, the reason why he attacked the examiner in the first exam that he did was because he didn't feel like that hunter deserved to be or wasn't up to scratch. And I wonder if because Menchi has this reputation for like doing this kind of thing that he thought in his mind that she doesn't deserve it either. But luckily, the chairman, uh, Chairman Netero, came in at the at the like at the last minute to. To, uh, to stop that from happening, but he he was he was ready to attack. So I feel like he's still playing examiner in a way. Um, I'm I'm off that idea now that he is uh, he is actually a, a a hunter himself or like an examiner as well. As an extension of that. Um. So yeah, we got uh, we got these spider eagles as well, which I am I am so fucking surprised that not at one point there was an actual spider eagle that came in. Like, the mother that was laying these eggs. Where was it? I'm fucking... I'm, I want to know what it looks like. Because in my mind, right, I was like, oh, right, they're on top of a mountain. It's clearly split in half. There's a ravine there. It, that's, it's going to be bird eggs, like, nested into the side of the, of the... like, of the cliff face. But then I saw fucking spider webs, and I'm like, oh god, no, not spider eggs. Like that's what that's one thing I just would not do. Nope, nah, don't even want to think about eating that shit. But it looked like a bird egg. The way that it was cooked, it was white. It had a yolk in the middle. So a spider egg. I mean, 
I, I'm just curious as to what the fuck it looked like. You know? Is it like a clear mixture? Like, there's a, there's a fucking, there's a flying eagle out there with a beak. But it has like a massive fucking, huge fucking back end. It like has eight legs for whatever reason. <laughs> I don't know. You know what I mean? Eight claws instead. I don't fucking know. I mean, they have to have, right? If they're able to create webs, they have to have that bit on the back. I can't even remember what it's fucking called. I know there's a specific name for it. Like, it's the it's the, the bit at the back of the spider, like the big fucking arse on it. That's where it makes the fucking, the web. Um, like the silk, that's where it comes out of, right? I, I can't remember what the fuck it's called, but... Uh, the big ass, right? <laughs> but yeah, other than that, I'm fucking curious as to what the blue look like. Yeah, so yeah, carried back up by the updraft as well. Uh, I knew, like, you know, you gotta look out for the little hints, and obviously her just waiting for that, like, slight bit of wind, like, right? Down. Um, so yeah. Um, so 42 remain. Um, so that would mean that 106 withdrew. I noticed how they didn't say that this episode. In the last episode, they clearly said, like, how many um, withdrew, right? They clearly saw, they like, had the word withdrawn. Now, even during that, I was like, there's no way that those guys that were impaled were dead. But, like, in this episode, they didn't mention that. They just said 42 remain. They didn't mention how many withdrew. But I'm positive that those guys that did not get carried up by the updraft fell to their fucking deaths. There is no way that they did not just die. <laughs> they've, there's not... Because that's a, they're not coming back up. They've literally just fallen to their deaths. But they don't like, like they don't announce it. <laughs> I guess, you know. But um, but yeah, yeah, that was a cool little episode. Um, I like the I'm I'm liking the the little bits of extra, like you know, world building, so branches of different like hunters and stuff that you can that you can be and whatnot. So yeah, I guess there's no limit to um to what you can experience or go look out for the unknown you know because the unknown is the unknown you don't know what the fuck's out there so uh, i guess there's you know it's not as limited as you might think but uh, but yeah that is all for episode six so thank you everyone for watching in the description below i have links to certain things discord if you want any information regarding my content get yourself over there or even if you want to just come talk to me our community i'm free to do that as well so monkeys.com my website all my content is over there and uh, Patreon. So, over Patreon, if you don't want to support me, that would be very much appreciated. There's a bunch of different tiers and rewards depending on how much you want to support me with. So, there's the early access tier, $5 a month. Gives you access to all the shows I do a week early. Uh, and you get four episodes of Hunt Hunt every week. So, if you want to get two extra episodes a week, that's where that's the tier that you want to get. Um, full length, $10 a month. Gives you access to my full length library. Everything I react to gets a full length, including this. So, if you're interested in that. Uh, exclusive tier, $15 a month. Gives you access to a bonus show I'm currently reacting to, which is Seven Deadly Sins. So if you're interested in watching me react to that, then become an exclusive tier patron. $50, that is the elite tier. Every time you pay $50, you get a choice of a show that you want me to react to, and I will react to it. It will go at the back of the list, buying about seven shows. Might take a while to get around to it, but I will do eventually. But if you don't want to wait that long, you want your show to be reacted to next, then you want to get God Tier, which is $100. And that is all. So thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.